This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Deputies are searching for this man. Take a look at him, 32-year-old Adam Duncan. This after two shooting incidents Sunday. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says an argument ended in shots fired in the parking lot at the Dew Drop Inn. That's in Whitewater Township. Then a second shooting occurred near the intersection of Harrison Pike and Dry Fork Road, where deputies say a driver was shot at and was hospitalized. Duncan's wanted on several warrants, including felony assault. If you recognize this guy and you can see his tattoos there too, call the sheriff's office. The man who was recovered from the Ohio River in Lawrenceburg yesterday has now been identified. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources says the man they found was 61 year old Nelson Lang of Cincinnati. His body was recovered about four o'clock yesterday afternoon near the River Watch restaurant. That incident remains under investigation tonight. Hamilton County's drug court has changed its name to better reflect its mission. The court will now be known as the Hamilton County Drug Recovery and Treatment Court. Leaders say the goal is to provide a pathway for probationers to get to recovery. The court was the first of its kind established in Ohio and remains the only full time drug court in the state of Ohio. Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Good morning. As you look at your out the door temperatures, we're near 70 degrees. It'll be a little bit muggy uh, this morning, but it's not going to climb into that oppressive category by the time we hit the afternoon. It'll be more typical July weather, still hot in the upper 80s. Tomorrow, we start building back to that uncomfortable weather. We're going to be at 92, and then you'll notice mid 90s into the weekend with some rain chances in our Super 9 day for next week.